Yo, what's good people? It's Ocean here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the video. I hope it's good wherever you're watching from. In today's video, I'm collaborating with the YouTube producer goats, Kyle Beats, Simon Savida, and Chucky Beats. So here's the plan. We're gonna be doing the pass the beat challenge. So what this means is I'm gonna create something like a melody. I'm gonna pass it to Kyle Beats. He's gonna flip it or add some drums, do his thing. Then he's gonna pass it to Simon, who's gonna do exactly the same thing, like chop it up, add his stuff, add his drums. Then he's gonna pass it to Chucky Beats, who's gonna bring it home, add the drums, turn it into a full beat. And then at the end, I'm gonna take a listen and just see like what happens to the melody. I've already gone ahead and made my melody. I was using all the synths here. So I'll show you exactly how I put it together. And then I'm gonna send it over to Kyle Beats. Let's go. This is the melody I've already made. It's very synth heavy. It gives me like very dark Travis Scott vibes. Very simple. So I got the project file open of what I made, but the thing is I didn't save the names of any of the presets that I was using. So I have no idea what I was actually, like what sound I chose. I remember though, I definitely used the Rainbow Machine pedal for most of it. But yeah, the first layer we've got, just some chords, broken down. So I think it's probably like something like, just really simple. So that's the first layer we got there. And then on top of that, we've just got the bass line. I probably added in a bass from the sub because the sub is like the best for when it comes to bass lines. Probably just something as simple as that. And then on top of that, we've got this. that pan to the left a little bit then we got a lead coming in and that one's pan to the right so everything is just a bit more spacious and then one more lead oh, this is more like bells I'm sure the bells probably came from the Juno and then I've just arranged it out and that's basically the sample there really really simple I think I did eventually change the pitch and changed the BPM so I changed the BPM, I put it up by 10. So we went from, I recorded everything 134, now it's at 144 BPM. And I think I've just raised it a semitone up. So now it sounds like. Simple. That's my sample done right there. That's my part, I'm producer number one. Now we're gonna send it to producer number two, Carl Beats, let's see what he flips this into. Let's see what we got here. And this loop is already fire. I think I want to, what I want to do to this, almost like prearrange it. <laughs> because I'm the first person to test this, I'm going to arrange the melody a little differently. <laughs> Make the drop like insane. That's my goal right now. on this. I'm gonna get the timing to be a little different. I'm gonna export this even one more time and just give like the loop some more depth to it I guess. So fun. <laughs> 
fire, dude. That is so fire. Man, should I add something else? Like, I want whoever gets this next to just come up with a new idea. I don't know if I want to add any drums, dude. <laughs> Here's a test to see if it works for someone. All right, so whoever's next, good luck. <laughs> 144. Mmm. Mmm. It's a lot of little, a lot of this going on. Okay, what am I gonna do with this? What if I just do something really bad and screw over the fourth guy? <laughs> How about we sample the sample? Mmm, interesting. What if we just do that? <laughs> Oh wait, no, that's gorgeous. What is this? Ugh. Why don't we isolate this? Just that melody. Some ideas. Try running it through a guitar pedal. All right, this is our final thing. Let's go. I'm feeling like a super hard trap vibe, but I'm also feeling like a little reggaeton break. So I'm gonna add that in the end, just in case you wanna use it, but super fire, bro. <sighs> trying, trying, trying to make a beat here, bro. Need some little perks. So what I wanna do is actually like make the beat Drop on the second one, so. Let's bring it up two semitones. Fire! Alright, let me, let me, let me, maybe, maybe just, just for the fun, do the reggaeton part real quick. Please, if I was video, do not crash. I just pressed make unique, that's all I did. And I didn't save. I'll just quickly remake what I did right there 
and then play the final section for you guys. So I started with the intro part. With the bass, I love it, love the intro vibe. Just starting directly with the bass because I just wanted to get straight into it, you know, straight into the action. And then we got a little reverse crash right here. And then, right here in the background, I got uh, one of the intro parts, but I EQ'd out the bass, so it's just serving as like a background melody right here. And then, and then, and then, and then, hold up. Too fire, too fire. Then we, then, then we go back to the to the top melody. Then we go back to the regular drums. It's fire. Hey, hope you guys like it, man. Shout out Simon, shout out Ocean, shout out Kyle, shout out everybody. Love you guys. Bye. So it's been about a week since I sent that sample out to Kyle Beats, and it's traveled all around the world. To Kyle, to Simon, to Chucky. Now he's back with me. Chucky Beats has sent me his final beat, so I'm gonna listen to it and check it out. Got the beat open, and the first thing I'm noticing it says 85 BPM. I think I started this at like 140 BPM. I think so. It's gonna be interesting to see like what direction this was taken. Let's give it a listen. This sounds way different to the sample that I sent in the beginning. Even got sample chops in there. Those drums came in so nice. Hard. on drums as well. Switch up is mad. Yeah, and I love the way how the drums come in after the drop. It's like delayed kind of, oh, I love it, I love it. This came out so sick. That beat actually came out sick. It sounds completely different to the sample that I made in the beginning and I love that. Shout out to Carl, Simon and Tricky Beats for jumping in on this challenge. Let's say, if we get 10,000 likes on this video, then I'll do another Pass the Beat challenge with some more producers. But yeah, that's about it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, make sure you're subscribed. That's about it. I'll see you in the future.